Hi, my name is Naomi and I create YouTube content. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for the commitment. It's very much overwhelming. I really love it. Thank you. I highly appreciate it. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do for a very long time. I will be talking about my greatest insecurities and hope you enjoy what I'm about to bring out to you. Hope you learn one or two things from what I'm about to bring out to you. And yeah, let's get started. I want to forget anything, so here we go. My biggest insecurities. I am tired of constantly battling the fears, tired of struggling with the challenges that continuously reappear. I was a little girl that felt fear when I went to school. I put on a big smile and pretended things are fine and it worked for a while. But there was a day when I was very sad, constantly called names. You are fat. You are ugly. You are dark skinned. You average child. All you do is it. Being bullied was my middle name. Imagine being bullied by your own family member. I kept it to myself and hid my shame for I didn't know how to handle such situations. I was scared of having friends because friends never lasted. I had friends but then it never lasted for a while. After, repeat, after repeating my first and third grade, I held the shame in the folds of my stomach. Anxiety took its toll. It was a combination of hate, anger, and regret. Diving into my insecurities, replaying the same mistakes, unfolding memories from the deepest, tears trembling down my face searing my mind into pieces. Where do I go from here? Living a life hidden in makeup, hidden in smells, hidden in all happiness. When the inner you is sad, it's ripped apart. The inner you doesn't know what life is all about. The inner you is still trying to figure out what you really are, who you really are. When the inner you is still trying to figure out what exactly you are here for on earth. Well, it was a true struggle. I struggled to find myself. I struggled to heal from the inside. It was constant hurt. It was constant fear. It was constant pain. I didn't know who to go to. I didn't know who to rely on. My life was a misery, in short. I have always heard of the saying, you have to lose everything before you find yourself. But you have to find the truth out on your own. There's always good and bad in everything, I guess. That's just the way this thing called life is. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy, peace, believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans 15 verse 13. Now I have so much to be happy about. Now I have a reason to smile. I have so much peace. I have so much joy and I have great happiness within me. I just want to make sure I spread this love that I have within. I have to, I spread the love, I spread the joy, the happiness and bring positive vibes. I'm now a happy girl. Okay, let's say a happy lady. <laughs> I am now a happy grown up lady. I have so much hope. So 
the hope is what keeps on building me it keeps on encouraging me from the inside it was a roller coaster my life was a misery i hated my life my life wasn't anywhere where i wanted to be at that time and slowly but sure i started venturing into discovering myself knowing myself loving myself accepting myself accepting the flows adjusting and being extremely comfortable with myself without having to get intimidated or discouraged or let down so yeah my life is great and i'm extremely grateful to god because he has really done it for me he's played the largest role in my life and today i just want to say thank you lord thank you jesus and to all my family uh, family members to all my friends that helped me that pushed me that gave me that kick you know what i'm saying <laughs> thank you so much i love you and be you there is good and bad in everything i guess that's just the way this thing called life is it's like you're looking through a telescope